Good day and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll be starting a new series called the Simulation Series. In this series, you would learn how to model and simulate processes. Now, in this particular video, I will be teaching you how to create and specify material streams, right? So, material streams usually consist of the materials that are involved in the process you are trying to model right the materials that is the components or the substances involved in that process and then their process conditions as well right so we'll be learning how to represent this particular kind of streams in the um, simulation environment as you know there are two types of streams you have the material streams and the energy streams right but in this tutorial video we'll be treating just the material stream and in a subsequent video you would learn how to specify an energy stream now our objectives are to um, fully specify a material stream then to check for stream properties and then to do stream analysis on a material stream now let's move over to the simulation environment the software environment now for this um, tutorial we'll be making use of some a few components so you just add the components from the high seas data banks to your component list right i'll be making use of the first three components then our fluid package is srk for this particular tutorial srk from high seas data banks as well so you search for srk and you click on it and after specifying those two we can go to the simulation environment by clicking on simulation at the towards the bottom left of your screen right so we are in the simulation environment now now from your model palette you have the two material the two types of streams the material stream and then the energy stream so to specify a material stream all you need to do is to click left click on the blue arrow and drag it to your flow sheet which is the white environment that you have on the screen right so this is a material stream now the color is light blue light blue this is because it is still unspecified right unspecified when it's specified you will be you will notice a color change right a color change in that particular stream so let's go back to the slide now to specify a material stream right a feed material stream now a feed material stream is the first stream you specify in your process right when you want to start your process simulation when you want to start your modeling the first stream you specify is your feed material stream right so for example in this particular um, simulation environment this is a this is going to be our feed material stream because that is the first stream we have in this flow sheet right now to specify it you need to um uh, specify or give at least four of the um specifications of that particular stream right at least four and those four specifications include the composition that is the composition of the components in that stream right the composition of the components in that stream then any of the flow rates either the mass flow rate molar flow or volumetric flow then temperature and pressure right then temperature and pressure right to make it four or temperature or pressure with a combination of any of these right so Either you specify temperature and any one of these or you specify pressure and any one of these, right? So to understand that better, here is a table that um, better illustrates what I'm talking about. So for materials stream specification, you need four specifications, right? To fully specify a material stream. So you can use temperature, pressure, flow rate, composition, or you can use temperature with any of these other properties either the vapor fraction entropy or enthalpy and then flow rate and composition or you use pressure and any of them 
then with flow rate and composition right so in this case you either use the vapor fraction the entropy or the enthalpy with a combination of pressure flow rate and composition right so now what determines which of these um com combinations you choose right what determines it is the kind of data you have for that process right so if you have temperature pressure and flow rate you can use this first combination right if you have vapor fraction you have vapor fraction temperature flow rate and composition you can use this second combination if you have pressure vapor fraction or pressure entropy flow rate and composition you can use this third combination right so the combination you choose is dependent on the data you have right so that is how it works so depending on the data you have that is what will determine the combination you are going to use to specify your feed material stream right so let's go back to the simulation environment now to specify this material stream all you need to do is double click on it you double click on it when you double click on it this environment comes up and you can change your stream name you can change it to whatever you like by clicking once and then typing the name you want to change it to when you are done typing you press enter now in this environment that we have here we have a message bar that has this yellow color right so it tries to give you information about what you are supposed to specify right so in this case it has given us a hint it says unknown compositions right unknown compositions so we can go to the composition section to specify composition of this material stream so in the worksheet environment you have composition right composition if you can see my cursor so you specify the composition of the components in that stream that is the essence of this composition section so what you do is before you specify the composition you ensure that the basis is the basis you want right so for composition we have different kinds of basis you have the mole fraction basis mass fraction liquid volume fraction mole flow mass flow and liquid volume flow so you choose whichever basis you want before you enter the composition values right most of the time um composition is usually in mole fraction a good number of times it's usually in mole fraction but if it's not then the um basis in which it is will be stated whether it's mass fraction or any other composition basis right so once you are satisfied with the composition basis you exit this and then you click on the first um the first uh components in order to start entering the composition data so for this we'll be making use of 0 0.3 so once you click on the first and type in the data you press enter to enter the other values then you press enter again until you are done entering all the values when you are done entering them you click on ok right you have to click on ok now when you click on ok you see that the um, message in this bar has changed so because now we have specified the composition it now says unknown temperature right so this would actually be giving you a hint on what you are supposed to specify right so now we can go back to the conditions so that we can specify temperature so for temperature we'll use 25 degrees celsius sorry about that 25 degrees celsius so you enter that and you press enter then pressure you have one atm right it still says unknown pressure so for pressure i want to use atmospheric pressure then i can now specify any of the flow rates either i specify the um, molar flow mass flow or the std ideal liquid volume flow right any of them would solve this particular um, stream this material stream so this i can enter 100 kilogram mole per hour okay let me just use 100 so once you are done specifying um the material stream you will notice that the bar 
we change from yellow to um to green right that signifies that the stream is fully specified right so like i said you can use any of those combinations here it must not be it must not be temperature pressure and flow rate it can be any of the other combinations that are here so you can take note of them take note of these combinations any of them can work in the specification of feed material streams right so that is the first one so we have gone through the first objective which is how to specify a material stream the second is how to check for stream properties so for stream properties from this first um environment which is conditions you already have some of the stream properties here right some of them are already here you have your molar enthalpy molar entropy heat flow liquid volume flow right a couple of the stream properties are already here right the ones in blue are the ones you specified the ones in black are the ones that were calculated by the software right the numbers in black the values in black why the ones in blue are the ones you specified they are the user specified values right so you can see some of the stream properties are already here right so you can read them if you want then the ones that are not here can be found in the second um, section of your worksheet we are in the worksheet tab so in the worksheet we have conditions where you can find some of the stream properties then the ones that are not here can be found in properties which is still in the worksheet let me maximize this so this is properties right so properties has more of the stream um, properties right more than the conditions environment the conditions has a few then the properties has more of them so you can use properties to check for more of the stream properties a lot of stream properties are here a lot of them are here a lot of calculated values are here you have molar density mass density molecular weight you have um actual volume flow mass enthalpy mass entropy heat capacity mass heat capacity a lot of um properties can be seen from this property section right so this is where you actually check for your stream properties right so that is for the second objective then for the third one it says stream analysis right now you can do um, analysis on your material stream now you can do that from two locations right so from your um from the home tab you have stream analysis right from the home tab you have stream analysis and if you click on the drop down you will see the different stream analysis that exist right the different kinds of stream analysis that exist you will see it from the home tab right so these are the stream analysis that exist in the home tab then you can also do it from within the stream itself so you double click on it to open it and then from here you have worksheets you have the worksheet tab and you have the attachments tab right the attachments tab if you click on the attachment tab you have analysis you have unit ops and then you have analysis the unit op re um, represents the units that are attached to that particular stream in this case it is blank because no it is blank because no equipment is attached to it at the moment right so that's why it's blank so for stream analysis you click on analysis right and then you click on create so when you click on create you will see all those um, different analysis that we saw from the stream analysis tab initially right so they are also here so you can do any of the analysis you like right any of them on this particular stream there are a lot of them here you have the property table you have the petroleum assay you have line sizing you have hydrate formation free mercury envelope critical properties cold properties co2 freeze out and boiling point curves for example if i click on add for boiling 
boiling point curves i just click on add right so it brings out this um, environment for the analysis of the boiling points right now from here we can read um, specific data about the boiling points of this particular stream right so what you need to do here is to click on performance right this performance so this performance gives you um the boiling point curve of this particular stream right that is what it does it gives you the table and then the plots as well right so they are already calculated once the um, stream has already solved once the stream is solved this um, boiling point curves are already generated automatically right so you have um you have different plots right different plots for that particular stream at different volume percentages of the stream right so from zero percent to hundred percent right volume for that particular stream so you have the plots then you have the table as well so either of them you can use either of them depending on what you want you have the critical properties of that particular stream then you have the code properties as well so depending on what you are looking for this is the data that is made available by HiSys for the boiling point curves right so you check your performance to get details about it then we also have so i'll just exit this this is for boiling points then i'll click on create again so i want to do um envelope analysis too i will be treating some of this analysis in subsequent videos like the line sizing i will treat it in a separate video uh the hydrate formation that will also be treated in a separate video then the petroleum assay as well so uh, for envelope you click on add you click on add now when you click on add you get another window for the envelope analysis right also you would also be finding um calculated values already calculated values in this envelope analysis section as well so you can check for um the performance right the performance which will give you tables and plots just like in the boiling point right the boiling point analysis so in the plots you have different kind of plots in this particular envelope analysis you have different you have the um pt envelope plots the pv the ph the ps tv th and ts uh, p stands for pressure c stands for temperature then v is volume h h should be enthalpy then s should be entropy right so you have um pressure so this is a when you click on the radio button for pt for example so if you click pt pt is the um pressure temperature curve for that particular stream right is the pressure temperature curve then pv is pressure volume right then ph is pressure enthalpy s then ps is pressure entropy right pressure against entropy so you have different curves for this particular stream that are generated in this envelope analysis right this envelope analysis section then if you go back to the design right you also have a table right a table that represents those plots now if you go back to um, the design you can also see some parameters here like the critical condensation temperature the critical con condensation pressure then the two-phase critical temperature and the two-phase critical pressure as well right so these are the kind of properties that you can uh that you can determine using the envelope analysis right so that's it for envelope analysis
also we have the um we have the code properties the code properties also um gives you details right some specific details about some parameters like the um vapor pressure the vapor pressure values the true vapor pressure the rate vapor pressure then viscosity values right this code properties is mainly used for um uh, oil uh, samples right oil samples because these are oil oil parameters yes they are mostly crude oil parameters here right so if you have a crude oil sample or a crude oil feed for your model you may want to do um a code property analysis on it right so you see that some of the values here are empty that is because this is not a crude oil feed right so if it's a crude oil feed you may be having um specific calculated values for some of these properties like the cetane index the flash points right and then the octane number right so you would have had some values for it but this is i think this is a a gas feed right a gas feed so that is why you have those empty then what else do we have there we also have the um you have the critical properties as well you also have the critical properties here you would also see properties of the stream right certain kind of properties you have the um true critical temperature you have the pseudo critical temperature the true and pseudo critical pressures as well you have the true and pseudo um volume critical volume then you have the eccentricity values as well so a lot of um, properties can be um, determined using this stream analysis a lot of them can be determined depending on the property you are trying to look for you can use this stream analysis to get such calculated values right and this is after you might have fully specified your stream right so you cannot do this um analysis until your stream is fully specified right then you also have you have um co2 freeze out i think this one yes it says not applicable and it also says no co2 in stream right so a a co2 um a co2 um freeze out analysis cannot be done on this stream because the stream doesn't con contain co2 right so that's it so let's move on now okay yes so for the remaining um uh analysis we have here like the line sizing the hydrate formation the petroleum isi we'll be treating them in subsequent um tutorial videos right so with that we have come to the end of this particular lecture now for this lecture i have um i have an assignment right for you for you to do or try out by yourself on what has been taught in this tutorial now we will be modeling a particular process right so i want you to specify the material stream the feed material stream of that process right so for practice this is the um, conditions and the composition of the feed material stream so it's a natural gas feed right so you are creating a natural gas feed you have the components involved right the components of the stream then you have their composition right the basis is more fraction it's stated there then you have their conditions the temperature pressure and the standard ideal liquid volume flow and then the fluid package of the model will be pen robinson right so i want you to model this in your spare time just follow the um, instructions in the video and then model this and then use this to answer these questions the subsequent questions that follow so that model stream the model stream after it has solved after you have modeled this and it has solved please take your time to look at the values properly right just look at it properly so after this has solved 
you can now come down to answer these questions so it says what are the values of critical condensation pressure and two-phase critical pressure right what are their values right so determine their values after your process or your stream has solved then also what are the values of critical condensation temperature and two-phase critical temperature right so determine these values after your model has solved then also what is the mass density and the heat flow of the stream right so you'll be answering these three questions after you have simulated that material stream right so i'll hope to hear from you on this particular um, practice this practice question right so if you try it out and you have issues you can um, drop your observations in the comment section then like this video also if you have not subscribed kindly do so to get notifications on future tutorials on process simulation thank you for joining me in this lecture do have a good day